Okay. So before we start the next part of this gameplay, um, I have to say this for those people who have been following along with this Let's Play. I know this might bore some people who you know, haven't really been and watched this later on down the line, but I just got to make this clear really quick here. So if you're following my channel closely, you thought we were on game 14 now, right? Or 13. Well, unfortunately, I had that the, the issues recording game 11. The mistake that I made with the, um, the recording settings that caused me to not be able to record the actual game 11. So I decided to record a scrimmage to replace that game 11. Well, then I had some software issues with game 13 that was not my fault that unfortunately caused me to not have game 13. I was very close to pulling the plug on this um, Let's Play when all of a sudden I looked up on the internet and I was able to figure out how to restore files. And unfortunately, the only restore points that I could really find, though, was a little bit further back. But it was far back enough that I could redo both game 11 and game 13. I had to make up about two games. So some of the statistics and final scores from the original couple games are not going to quite be the same. But I, got, I had to make up games 8, 9, and 10. Um, but we're back to game 11. So we're going I deleted the original game 11 and game 12 since you know, game 11 was a scrimmage. That way we can play the actual season play for game 11. Now again, the statistics are not going to be the same, but also, in case if this happens again, where, you know, a game does not get recorded right for this Let's Play, all I have to do is save the, um, the correct game files to a, a flash drive and just put them back over the, the bad ones to restore them. So, that's how we're going to do that from here on out, in case if something happens again, that we have to redo a game, or a game does not record right for this Let's Play. Or any games I do for Bandicam. So yeah, guys, welcome back. This is the Club Man Three. This is our redo of Game 11, which it will be against the, um, the Monsters. Of course, the last time we played the Monsters on the actual game, I had a big walk-off win, despite some bad defense and extra innings. But, you know, I don't, can't promise it's going to be the same again, so we'll see what happens. But, of course, this is, of course, right at the point where we had first clinched the playoffs. So, we, based off of, of course, from Game 10, we have clinched the playoffs, but we're going to try to continue to go 11-0. So, let's see what happens here with Game number 11. Take 2 for Game 11, let's say. So, we're back at home at Ekman Acres. Check, you know, the roster out here. Keish is good. Ichiro's got one extra four batting, uh, which is pretty cool. Ahmed's good. I'm good. Angela's good. Um, no more is good. Uh, Pablo is one for running sweet. Luan's good. And Randy is good. Now, uh, Angela pitched um, the last game. Uh, but I had to put Luan in because Angela was getting low on stamina. Now, actually, also, I found it useful to just do this. Um, instead of having Angela behind the plate, it's just she doesn't have just a bad fielder. I put a, a little bit, not the best, but a little bit better arm in Luan behind home play for catching. So either uh, Luan or Randy will be our catchers, and Angela will play their second base or a uh, pitcher. So we're good there. For the Monsters, we got uh, Peggy Heffman, who's a good hitter. We've got Claudia Villarta, who's also a good hitter. we got Fernando Diaz, who has some speed. We've got Trent Sizemore with some speed. Uh, Kathy Wolf with speed. Um, decent player, Nikki Winston. Uh, Arlene Perez, decent player. Reese Worley, oh boy, he's got some extra attributes there. So, you know, we can't overlook him, of course. And, um, of course, Leah Wayne, who, wow, has 10 for everything today. Thanks to the one extra thing for pitching. So, yeah, definitely the biggest threat on our team. Last game, it was Jay Green. So, we'll see what happens. So, I can't promise it will be as dramatic as the original game 11 was supposed to be. But, hopefully, you know, this game works out good. And we get to continue on being 11-0. So with that, guys, let's get right to it. I'm so happy I'm going to be able to I, find, figure out how to, you know, fix this. Of course, it's a humongous monsters. How to fix this just in case if, you know, we have any more technical difficulties again. Put, get the actual season play in now. And it's all going to be consistent. Uh, Randy Johnson, of course, is the starting pitcher for us. We got Fernando Diaz leading off for the monsters. Again, they look like they would be a pretty good team. Especially, of course, with um, Leah Wayne. She's one of the best players in the league. Especially now she has 10 for pitching and they also, so we're going to be very careful when she comes to bat. Because whenever I did the original game 11, um, that of course was the walk-off win, we had, um, 
A nice catch by Angela to start off, but Leah Wayne did quite good damage against us, and of course a bad defense, which led to extra innings, and almost, almost losing in the eighth inning, thanks to a four-run eighth, but a walk-off home a grand slam, though, by Ahmed Khan saved us. And of course, in the seventh inning, we were down by one run. This girl's good speed, so get over, Mike. And I do not get over there in time, rats. Um, but, um... Here comes Leah Wayne again. This is this is their superstar. She is a yeah. I don't want to meet her in dark alley at all. She's a really good player. She can do everything. So let's be careful. But um, in the seventh inning, ooh, so throw it away. In. Uh, still not the strongest arm behind the plate, but you know, who else am I going to put behind there? You know, um, we'll see. But um, so um, but anyways um. But yeah, but in the, in the seventh inning, we were down by one, but Angela Del Vecchio did a clutch two-out solo shot to tie the game back up. But um, yes, hopefully it will be the case this game. He actually, last game, well, game 10, the one I had to make up because, um, come on, Pablo, catch it. Oh, come on, guys! Um... We can get her out at least. What, Pablo? You were on the base. Are we trying to bring it back the original game eleven? But that was terrible defense well, on our part, guys. Yeah, let's. All right, let's concede a run or whatnot. But um, I'm talking way too much here. But um, but yeah, the last. Well, since that, since the restore point went all the way back to us being seven and zero, half of this we had to make up games eight. 9 and 10 tonight, so, um, but the last game I actually almost lost, but I was going to make sure I won our games leading up to this point, if for some reason, I, I know we had won, I had won the first 13 games before I had, oh, we got a strike out there, nice, uh, the first 13 games, but since, you know, we're, we're, we're you know, fixing game 11 here, this is, if, if I lose a game, which I hope that does not happen, you know, I'm not going to, you know, start over again, because that would not be fair, but I'll just get back to where, where everything was right. <laughs> Strike one. Yes, yes, you should have, Reese. But he's got a little more uh, attributes today, so we, we don't want to be a slop. He's not usually that great of a hitter. But he's good at bunting. Get him up out at first. Don't come to back. Okay, good. We got him there, so we only got gave up one run in that inning. So one nothing going to the bottom of the first. Now pitching. Leo Wayne, of course, their best player is going to be pitching today. And Itro's going to lead off. He's batting 628. So he's got one extra for hitting. So I'm not going to guarantee that beat for power. So I'm not going to try to hit for power with Itro today. Um, I'm just going to sell it the line drives. When he has 10, I'll consider swinging for power. Because, you know, 9 can sell me one thing. But I'm sure he has a little bit more power now. Um... But yeah, but last game we almost lost. We were down six nothing at one point after the third inning. But I came back and I won. But no, like you know, big dramatic walk off or anything. Swung a three zero pitch and played him pretty deep. But he is gonna beat it out for an infield single. Nice. Little lag there. Keisha Phillips, seven zero five hitter. Maybe get that batting average back up again since again it was. Pretty good before I had to do the restore point, but again, just feel, I'm, I'm gonna feel a lot better knowing the fact that I'm gonna be able to give you guys, you know, a full season gameplay without any glitches and whatnot. Each row, too far off the bag. Dang it! Pablo Sanchez steps in now. Now nobody on with two outs, but Pablo is batting 606. Hopefully, get him some power going again because the, the past couple games, of which you know, before the um. You know, the glitches start happening. Pablo hadn't really been, you know, hitting the homers too well. He was hitting them pretty easily, started them off for the um, for the year, but now he hasn't really been uh, as on fire. But Pablo's going to beat that with an infield single. That last little bit of speed he has for today really helps. Ahmed Khan's going to bat now. And, you know, in case I didn't start saying this, um, I can't remember when I started saying, you know, um, this announcement, but the cleanup here has been brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Although, um, although I was actually, um, <coughs> in game 13, I, I did it for Ernie Steele's long socks, but I'll do that in another game. But this time, 
it'll still be um, the cleanup hair that brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Just taking after what, what they do for the Pirates or well, on the radio games whenever they bat. But of course, that's a ground ball. And he's out. So we didn't get anything that inning. Rats. one nothing after the first inning. We still have plenty of game left to play. Peggy Hefferman. She's a good hitter, but she's only batting 200. But she'll lead off here in the top of the second inning. Give Randy a course. Well, it's a, it's a course. It's still, still really early in the game to panic about using the power up. But she swung and missed at that pitch for a strike. Don't you just love a corkscrew? It, it's always fancy looking. She swings and misses for strike two. <coughs> Ron, you're not even playing. Quit whining. Strike three. Nice. Good strikeout there for the unit. Two strikeouts now already. Trent Sizemore, the first baseman, is batting 350, will bat next. So be careful. Swings late for a strike. Of course, they may not use the power-ups right away. It'll probably come out of the blue when you least expect it. So just remember, unless, of course, you know, those swings and misses with them wearing out the power-up. So 0-2 count now on Trent size. One of these related to former major leaguer Grady Sizemore. Strike three. Nice. You get Sizemore to strike out, which again, he as I probably said before, he had a lot of potential to be definitely be a Hall of Famer, but of course, you know, he had a couple good seasons, but injuries unfortunately slowed his career down. Uh, yeah, he played for the Indians, Phillies, and a brief time with the Rays also. Not a broken letter. But yeah, so um since we got this restore point, um the next couple of videos I'm gonna stop I'm gonna put a hold on the Harry Potter let's play um and the next beginning of the next Wolfenstein let's play until I get back caught up of course. I'm gonna over the next day or so I'm gonna try to get um, games eleven through thirteen uh done. Since you know I'm um, redoing eleven and twelve is at a restore point. And once again, strike three. He strikes out the side. Nice, unit. one nothing. still going to the bottom of the second inning. But we're in our home ball field. And we have Nomar Garcia Parra off the bat, who is a 603 hitter. He was staying solidly over 600 <coughs> um, for most of the season. So let's see if we can keep him there. Ball one there. The pitch from Leah Wayne. At least with, you know, her pitching, we can get her to, you know, lose some stamina, lose some speed at least. But that bat, of course, is still dangerous. Swings and misses for a strike. That would have been, that would have been called a strike anyway, though. Um, but yeah, we'll do a make up 11 through 13 before we get back to the Harry Potter Let's Play. But that one is right at the center fielder, Rats. I will bat next, batting 508. <coughs> Let's just do a line drive hit for me. I feel like you know that's going to get more out of it. Not going to always hit one out of the ballpark. I fouled it off. So that's 508, though, which is pretty solid for me. Nice line shot in the middle, a base hit. I get a single. Sweet. I'm not going to try to do anything. Start stealing it with, with people who also have like 10 for running because Reese has some extra <coughs> for fielding behind the play. And of course, you know, um, either way, he's still a good fielder, so he has a strong arm. Oh, sweet. Angie gets into that one, drives it deep to left field, lag for a second. But Angela, with a two run homer, gives the Pirates the lead now. Two to one here. On a four, a 299 foot home run. I wanted to say 400, but 299. Almost. And Andrew only said bye bye now. So nice. Again, Randy Johnson's been 403 now. Sweet. I'm kind of glad to get Angie at home there because for a while I wasn't really doing too well when I was being Angie at the play. And again, Angie is a good hitter, but once again, if she doesn't get anything deep, you know, she's not going to get on base because she's slow. And Randy still has been up a solid 403 despite being a pitcher. And only have five for hitting. But that's cool. The unit can still hit pretty well. Ah, nice stop there by the shortstop. On the first, he is out for the second out of the inning. 
We got Luann now catching now. I know again she's small, but again I, I trust her more. Behind she has a stronger arm than um than you know um um Angela. Although I could have considered putting Ahmed behind the place since he has a little bit of a stronger arm, but it wouldn't make much of a difference. If I had another choice for a pro player, I'd pick either Kendall or um or um what's his name um. Uh, Piazza, I, I picked one of those two. Maybe Kendall, because Kendall is more speed. Um, but, you know, Ichiro fouls off that pitch or a foul ball. Um, but, yeah, that's the one thing I feel like this team is lacking it is a catcher. I mean, we could put, like, something like Ichiro or Nomar behind the plate, but they're needed for their positions. Oh, nice safe. Again, those are some close plays, because Reese has got a strong arm for sure. But, you know, like, somebody's got to need the Even, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll put, maybe one day I'll try Luan in right field and Ahmed behind the plate. <coughs> and again, I've been in say so already. Yeah, that hurt. But, um, you gotta excuse my, 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 my coughing. I have a little bit of a cough when I didn't say so in recent videos. But I'm alright. Foul ball there by Ichiro. Go. 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 Ichiro. I just, I just love that little video they made from YouTube. Into the and the nice. A line drive in the left, but right at the left fielder for the final. But we got two that ending on a two-run homer by Angela Del Vecchio. The Pirates are leading up by one. Arlene Perez will lead off here in the top of the third inning. Two to one Pirates now thanks to a homer by um, Angela Del Vecchio. Two run shot she got last inning. Strike one on Arlene Perez. Let's get a corkscrew pitch in there. Strike two looking nice. Unit struck out the side last inning. That's right. So he's had four out of six of his outs so far, but strikeouts. But of course, the first inning was a little sloppy on defense. That's why he got that one run. Oh, she bunted. I got scared it was going to be the. Um, Crazy bump, but she's not that fast. Out of first base. <coughs> For the out. Okay, I got, got, I got a ball of water here. Yeah, he needs to. He's only batting 166. Give him some heat to start off this at bat. Strike one. 25 pitches for the unit. Not too bad by giving up that, first, that one run in the first inning. Yeah, get it over with Diaz. Ground down, get it over with. Or swing and miss for a strike to help us out. I can use some rice each row. Give him a zigzag on the inside corner, down low. <coughs> strike three, sweet. Five strikeouts for the unit. We've got Kathy Wolf, who, despite the fact that she's not that great of a hitter, again, she's got speed. So let's try to keep her off the base pads. Strike one. Sweet. She's only about 153 again. So as long as, you know, we don't, we don't give her anything easy to, like, you know, dribble down the line, we should be able to get her out. Because, again, she's a fast runner. She's pretty much like a Philly Hamilton. You know, like he's a fast runner, but not a good hitter. Pop up. Uh, of course, a big green. Sweet. Okay. Despite knocking on heads, we still got her out. Nice. That was a 1-2-3 inning sweep. So no run scored that inning, but still 2-1 Pirates. Going to the bottom of the third inning. Keisha Phillips, 695 now. Again, she was hitting 745 at 1.4 with the restore points. So, yeah, prove you are the greatest and get back on top, Keisha. But she has a nice line shot to right center. But they were playing the shift on her, but she dropped the ball and gets past. I don't know where they're going, but Keisha's going to take advantage of that of that ball getting by them. Going to third base. She's going to round third right now and head home. She's going to be in there easy with a stand up inside the park hole run for Keisha Phillips to lead off this third inning. Awesome. Pablo Sanchez will bat now. And he's bat 6 11. He's got a single today so far. And he hits one high. That one is deep. Did the weapon get enough of that one? Yes, he did. With this restore point again, I want to say the weapon's got to get his power swing back. 
Not sure how many homers that is now, but that's a nice homer for Pablo Sanchez. 303 feet of back-to-back -back homers to lead off the city. 4-1 to one now, Pirates over the Monsters. Ahmed Khan will bat next. He's batting 625 today. Well, now, but he's 0 for 1. Once again, your cleanup hitters brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. But unfortunately, swings and misses there. So an 0 1 count on the Axeman. And of course, every time I say Axeman, what? Come on. You should be able to hit that. Um, every time I say Axeman, I think of foreign power Xavier Nady, who is known as the X Man. Oh, no, he strikes out. Rats. Noah Garcia Parra will bat next. Shortstop at 593. He is 0 for 1 today. Okay, he was hitting consistently over 600 this season, so let's see if we can keep him back there. Please miss his first strike. Yeah, what? I feel kind of bad, though, because when I was making up those games that, you know, I had to make up after I did the restore point, um, I was kind of rushing through them, so I feel like that's why the numbers might be down a little bit from what they were before, but it's all fine and dandy. I'm going to bat next up. I'm buying bat 571. This is two outs. Let's swing for the fences with me. I, I could, I'm sure I can get a homer in there at some point. I fouled that one off, though. <coughs> for strike one. Ah, it popped up again. That was, of course, no. Nice pitch to try to get a hit on since it was a, a corkscrew. Ah, I strike out again. Rats. Two strikeouts for Leah Wayne. So, two runs at inning, four to one after halfway through. Leah Wayne will lead off in the bottom of the, I mean, the top of the fourth inning. She's been 3 2. She has a triple today, which she got lot in the first inning. So again, she's a big threat to play. She is definitely one of the best players in the league. Her and Jay Green, of course. She has 10 for everything except for um, pitching. She only had 9, but she has 10 today. So, look at that for a straight. So I'm not doing any uh, power ups on her because if she gets on base, then they're getting another power up. <coughs> That's a nice, easy ground ball, but lots of stamina, so she's an easy out there. So sweet. One out. Claudia Velarta struck out her last at bat. One out here in the fourth inning. Four to one Pirates over the humongous monsters, which makes perfect sense for me to call them the humongous monsters, as they should be. Here's the next pitch by the unit. Ball, come on. That should be a strike. Well, let's give a corkscrew. Yeah, you gonna swing now. Strike two. Of course, though, next game, though, since I just realized since we're making up game 12 also, we'll redo game 12, we have to go back to the Tin Can Alley. I don't like the Tin Can Alley. I mean, I liked it when I was younger because of the name, and I like the word tin, but... Foul ball again, uh, but it's just a terrible ballpark to play in because it's it's tight. You know, you can't hit a homer in there. You just hit things on top of things, but it's not going to really help much at all. This is a stupid park. Strike three, so that's another strike out for the unit. Two outs in the inning. Now brings up Reese Worthington. He's only batting a buck 90, but remember, he's got some extra attributes for hitting. And also, no, don't slouch with him. Remember, um... Remember, um, I can't say remember, but I remember the last time, um, you know, we, 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 we did game 11, um, Reese, those by only having three for hitting, had a nice hit in the extra innings to bring in two runs, so, again, don't be too easy on Reese. Strike on Reese. Fireballs, get one more, we'll drain out Randy now. That's why I probably should not have done that, but he has, he has a juice. So we'll be fine, even though he's probably going to get out for us in this inning, but oh well. Angelo Del Vecchio had a two-run shot in her, lap, in her first at bat. She's bad 448. Let's see if she can smack another one out here. <coughs> we have Randy on deck, though, and he's all drained out now. But again, we have the, the juice to get him back to full strength um, in the top of the inning, so that's fine with me. 
Ah, uh, she could have crushed it, but she didn't. Come on, Angie. Same place that she crushed last time. She hits a line drive right in the left field. Hopefully she beats that out. No, she does not. Crap. Randy Johnson's batting 396. Unless he walks, I do not see him getting on base because we drained out all the stamina and he is tired. So I'm going to swing for the fences. But we will get his full stamina back for him. Swings and misses for a strike. We will get it all back, though, next thing, we have the juice. We will juice Randy back up. We just had to use up our power-ups. Fouls that one off. So if we get Randy out, will be a good thing for him. Just to relax. Yeah. And he swung and missed anyway, so it's all right. Luann Louie will bat now. She's got a single today. She's batting 547. She has to give her Teddy a hug. What the? Did you see that? Did you just see that? She wasn't even ready yet, and she pitched that. I, in all the years. Okay, I have had this game since I was 10 years old. That's when I first got into baseball, of course. I had never seen that happen before. I had never seen them throw the pitch before the batter was ready. What on earth was that? How could you, Leah Wayne? That's a Jonathan or Josh Beckett move right there. Because of that, say, screw you, and we are going to... Beat that out. Yeah, that's right, Lou Man. You tell them, Lulu. Ichiro's going to make her pay for that. You know what? Since he has nine for batting, I'll take a chance with two outs here. We're winning. Let's do a power and see what Ichiro can do. I'm feeling it this time because he is, has my favorite um, pro music. Let the one go by for a strike. I know, but it was not in the, in the hot spot. For each road hit, that's when you start to kind of swing at that. Anyways, all right, whatever. <coughs> Foul ball. Okay, so let's see here again. Let's get he has the power on him, so let's see if we can get a good pitch. Either way, we got to swing at this next pitch if it's inside or not, in the strike zone or not. Ball one. I mean, if it's in a good spot for me to try to hit it out of here in the yard or not, just to see if each road can do it. I'm not going to bring in Reese Worthington, so at least we've probably drained out Leah Wayne of her speed, but I think we can drain out Reese of his speed here also. That's ah, probably not the right pitch for him for a power swing, but Reese is going to get them out there, but it's okay. So going into the fifth inning now, it's still 4-1. to one. Peggy Hefferman will lead off here at the top of the fifth inning. Let's juice Randy up before it's getting back to full strength, and we'll just be fine here. So let's pitch the Hefferman. You know what? I don't want to jinx it, but this game is kind of reminding me already of um, somewhat of um, what happened in the um, in the original game 11 that I had before I lost it. But um, we'll lost the uh, the footage and whatnot. But we were it was about a 4-1, 4-2 game until the sixth inning, and then you know. Well, mostly because, you know, we have the heart of the order batting. We, um, we tied it up. Strike three, nice, but that might be the case here. Trent Sizemore will bat next, because we've already passed the top of the order, but I don't think we'll be having that in the bottom half, but they still have a power-up, but we're still in good shape. Let's give them another power-up for a strike with a zigzag. Sizemore batting 341, though, so he's no slouch to play. He can get on base. He does need decent speed, too, I believe, too. Ball low at the hook. Unit's got eight strikeouts today, by the way, guys. <coughs> Here comes the heat. Fouls this one off for another strike. 48 pitches for the unit here. It's going to hook out on the top. The top uh, right corner. Yeah, gone for another strikeout. Nine strikeouts. Nikki Winston will bat now. The shortstop at 179, but he struck out his last at bat. Um, let's we'll save that fireball for the last inning. Get a zigzag in there. <coughs> Pops it up. Uh oh. That's why. No! Not this again, guys. We gotta play better defense than this. We hold with single, but that's gonna be a power up for them, so let's be careful, guys. I'm not trying to purposely duplicate what happened in the original one. Arlene Perez will bat now, so let's be careful here, guys. Let's um 
try to hook first. Again, let's not use the fireball yet. I want to save the juice for a little bit later. If we absolutely need it for you. But luckily we have um, top of the order uh, portion uh, come up in the sixth thing. So we can get some insurance in case something happens. She swings and misses for a strike. That was a little late there. Here comes the heat inside. Swings and misses again for a strike. <coughs> One and two now here on Arlene Perez. That's a good pitch. She's closed. She swings and misses strike three. Ted strikeouts. But they still have probably one or two power-ups, so be careful unless if you know they um, already lost them. But Keisha Phillips is one for two, batting 700. She had an inside-the-park home runner last at that. Let's keep her batting average over 700 because that's what it was for most of the season. But she likes those inside pitches. She's a line drive in the left field for a base hit. Okay, Keisha really loves those inside pitches. Pablo Sanchez is two for two with a homer and a single, so let's keep the weapon hot. That's one thing good to go forward here with this restore again. Keep the weapon hot. It's going to be inside. That way it doesn't get hit. But, um, yeah, let's see here. Reese pitches. Oh, this is weird. Pitch is weird. Line drive, well, ground ball. The second for one, but he can't get him out at first. Let's see if we get Pablo another stolen base here. Ahmed will bat now. He's batting 6 15. He um, has struck out though. He's over 2 today. So let's see if we get the cleanup hitter getting something in here, real quick. As uh, once again, the cleanup hitter has been brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes, foul ball. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance, as always, I mentioned. Let's get Pablo another steal. But one out here again. 6 15 average for the Axe Man. Pitch up. Well, here it goes. Ah, he pops it up. Pablo, get back. Get back. Do I get my power up? Okay, good. We're safe. Okay, you're lucky there. You can't come up that far off the bag, though, Pablo. No more Garcia Parr is over to two today, though. Let's get him going again. He's got 584. Let's get back over 600. And it's a ground ball here, though. It's a little dribbler. Reese got it on the first. They're off the bag. They throw out the second, but they stick. Get Ahmed there. That was a weird looking play there. They could just tag first base, get no more, but they had to go for second. I will bat now. I am one for two today with a single. Two outs here, so let's swing for defenses. Had a homer since that game I had a couple extra for hitting. Ah, what am I doing here? I should have just clicked on that. I was in the right spot to try to, you know, see if I can get a good hold of that one. Ah, oh, nice. Tattoos it into the left field for a base hit. I got a single. <coughs> Angela has one for two. She has a two-run homer. Pirate trip now five to one on the monsters here. Go for it, Angie. Two outs here, though. No one looks sad at second base, just say. But she has a ground ball, which is not good for her speed. Angie will be out at first base for the final out. But going to the last inning, 5-1 to one Pirates. Hopefully not as dramatic as the end of the last game 11. Fernando Diaz will lead off here in the top of the sixth inning. Let's see what happens here. Give a course screw again. The last time we had the sixth inning, well, we, had a, we have a little more of a bigger lead. Well, we fouled that one off on the button. Um, but last time we had um, we had um, this top of the sixth inning with the, against the Monsters game in the original game eleventh when we had a bad inning with defense and they tied it up. So what's well, right? We got we got we uh, Wayne threw up this day, but once again, right now she should not be that big of a threat since you know Randy's in good shape and um, you know they still they're still down by four runs. So let's play crappy defense. We should be fine. Swings and misses for strike three. Kathy Wolf will bat next. She's batting a buck fifty, but she has a single so far because, once again, don't forget she uh, has good speed. <coughs> Spit strike one. We can let's, let's save a spitball for Leah Wayne. 
we'll, we'll throw a spitball at her to get her out. Strike two. And here comes the next hook. She fouls that one off, though, so Kathy Wolf stays alive. Let's get her down this corner right here. Swings and misses, strike three. So it's just us and Leah Wayne. 12 strikeouts out for the unit. Nice game. Leah Wayne batting 375. Let's be mean to Leah. First, we're going to juice up. Then we're going to throw an elevator pitch. She looks at that one for a strike. Now we're going to shake her up with a fireball. For strike two. We could just throw one more fireball, but I feel like finishing this game off and fixing our game 11 with a spitball. It's not going to be as dramatic as a game as it was before, but we are going to still get a nice win here. Spitter. But she's going to hit it. A ground ball. She's lost stamina. On the first and in time, and the Pirates win. We are 11 0 now after. You know, well, after clinching the division, so we are still staying undefeated. If you know what I'm talking about, we can be friends when I say undefeated. But of course, yes, guys, again, as always, if something happens from now on for the rest of this season gameplay, if something happens that, you know, the technology decides to act up again, I can always just restore it back to, um, back to you know, a certain point. So that's what we'll do from now on. But we have our the correct game 11 now, the correct season gameplay. Pirates beat the Monsters 5 to 1, guys. Stay tuned for game 12 in the next video course where we take on the um, the Green Wombats, I believe it is, um, at the Tin Can Alley. Yeah. But uh, we'll see what happens then, guys. Um, so once again, guys, sub like on the video, subscribe more content to come to my channel. And you may follow me on Twitter as well at DemandAirbody3. And guys, I will see you guys in game number 12. We take on the Green Wombats at the Tin Can Alley. So until then, guys, I am the Club of Demand 1993, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out, everybody.